Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're gonna talk about five examples of break-even analysis that make a difference for five different business models. And the break-even analysis is extremely important because it tells you how sensitive um, different parts of your business model are to certain metrics. And it's important to ask the right questions and to do the right calculations to answer those questions. So here are examples. That's to get you thinking on this process. If you have a B2C, right, uh, business to consumer SaaS model, right, what you want to uh, do analysis on will be the number of new and renewed subscriptions, the number of leads and the marketing budget, because you use that marketing budget in order to convert customers. So what do you need to answer here? Examples, right? How many subscriptions do you need to sell to cover your fixed costs? How many leads do you need to generate to cover your fixed costs? What marketing budget do you need to cover your fixed costs? And remember, your marketing budget will convert into leads and will convert into subscriptions. So the second example is the marketplace model. So here you want to understand the number of transactions, the number of prospective buyers and sellers, because there's two sides to the marketplace, right? So the questions you want to be answering here are, how many transactions do you need to cover your fixed costs? And how many prospective buyers or sellers do you need to cover your fixed costs, right? Now, if you have a services model, the metrics are a little bit different. You want to look at the number of clients, projects, or prospects. And again, you want to ask how many clients, projects, or prospects do you need to cover your fixed costs? If you have a B2C e-commerce model, right, you're selling uh, anything to the consumer directly using your website, what you want to consider here is the number of transactions, the number of prospective buyers, and the marketing budget, right, assuming you know what the average purchase value is. And so what you want to understand is how many transactions do you need to cover your fixed costs? How many prospective buyers or leads do you need to cover your fixed costs? And what marketing budget is required to produce those leads, which will convert into those transactions to cover your fixed costs, right? So that's really how your business functions. The last one is the wholesale model. So here you want to think about the number of distributors, the number of salespeople, or the number of orders. To answer questions, how many distributors, salespeople, or orders do you need to place to cover your fixed costs? So let me explain a little bit the logic behind salespeople, right? So in order for you to have a certain number of orders, you need to have a certain number of distributors that will place those orders. And in order to have a certain number of distributors, you need to have a sales force, assuming that's how you convert distributors, in order to um, put in place those contracts. So that is how the logic of your business works. If it works differently, you obviously change the questions around it. But it really helps you understand what your business is sensitive to. If you don't know some inputs or if they depend on other inputs, remember this analysis is for only one variable. So try to fix all others and solve for one unknown. And here you go. If you like this video, please uh, like it, share it with your colleagues, subscribe to our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos every week. And to learn more about the course, click in the link in the description. Thank you. And I will see you next week.